Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Rune, Viking Warlord. Last we left off, we were on our way to Jotunheim after seeing Sigurd uh, dying to some weird undead human monster things that Loki gave to Conorak. Regardless, I think we got this. Honestly, I love the idea of going through Jotunheim over um, the Dwarven lands. Dwarves are great and cool and all that, but man, there's something about being able to overpower something literally like twice your size, you know? The physics of this bridge aren't fricked up. Let's go this way first. Let's see, there's you. Bunch of weapons. Roasted Windle. Windle's roasting on an open fire. Rune's now burning in my pocket. Because there's no way I'm gonna use them all. Anyways, uh, let's see. Alright. So this was a little funky in the... the okay then. I was gonna say, so the wind mechanics were a little bit funky in the PC port. I'm amused that they have a cutscene for that. Hey, they even have an area where I land. Neat. But yeah, that's a thing for me anyways. Like, yeah, dwarves are clever and can come up with a bunch of machines and blah, 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 blah. I mean, just more imp it's just more impressive to me to take on something twice your size and win. Eight that section for me. Wait, does that giant just disappear? Oh. Alright. We wait. How long do we wait for? I don't know. That long. Is there even... No, there is. Oh. You know, they didn't make it that time either. Is this where I learned that the wind can very much work against me and just outright push me in the wrong direction? Ow. Kind of wish I could accidentally cut down the trees. That'd be funny. Down? You know, I don't think they... I'm trying to think, did they ever, ever refer to... Jotunheim by its name? Or am I just now reading it and realizing, oh yeah, we're going to Jotunheim. With this playthrough. Hmm. Pretty sure the latter. Because I very much do not remember actually this place being called J Jotunheim. Jotunheim, Jotunheim, I think it's interchangeable depending on one's uh, not nationality so much as what one says. Kind of like. <laughs> I'm about to say something stupid, and that's par for the course, I'm sure. But, kind of like how I know that there are some people out there that call jalapenos jalapeno, despite the fact that's very much not how you pronounce jalapeno. I don't 
Yeah, no, that's not a thing. Am I going the right way? I gotta be. Push the button. I know that it would be more satisfactory to be playing this on medium and beating all these joints, but man. Ah, okay. I don't know why I pressed those buttons. They were probably, um, Beard Doll Caverns. They were probably, uh, some sort of secret passage uh, to loot. But that'd be smart. Waiting. There we go. Ah, back into the water. If there's one thing about level design that makes me always go, what the hell were you thinking? It's usually traversal like this, where it's like, oh, hey. It's kind of obvious that you gotta go this way. Okay, I get that. But consider, how the hell did um, your average Dick and Jane NPC do that? Because, uh, let me tell you, I don't see how the hell some of those giants went and... I guess swimming wouldn't be the right word. How the hell some of those giants went and said, you know what? Yeah. Huh, ah, excuse me. I can totally make the, uh... Oh! I want that. Can I make that jump? I... Oh, wait, that's right. I remember this one. I remember this one. This is one I couldn't get for some reason or another. I think it was simply because, yeah, the... I... Okay, that one was me not hitting the jump in the correct... Yishin. But yeah, like, I think this was too far of a jump? And then if I try to move to a closer position, that little overhang makes it so as you can't get there. Did I end up getting it? Afterwards? God damn it. Because there was this section. I think I gotta bust this. Um... Look at that, that is totally bustable, man. Oh, I think I see how it's bustable, though. Okay, I got the right idea? Yeah, man. Oh, come on. Wait, was it that other axe? No, not you. You. No, it was not you. Although, how the hell am I supposed to get spirit from that symbol? This one, Goblin Axe. He says as he accidentally swaps out from the Goblin Axe. There we go. All right. I'm really not certain what the hell unlimited throw is supposed to mean anymore. Just full stop. It means nothing.
Oop, there, this way. Oh, right, shut up. Then I could do this one. What is the point of that? Because I thought that this was the one with the with the 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 bit of bit of bit of out about dum dum dig dig. All right. Um, I got nothing. Up this way. Slight anger, a little bit of confusion about how the hell I'm supposed to get over there, then. Over there, down there, in there. Maybe with the right application of violence, Star. Hello, sir. Hello, other sir. Oh well. It's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Hmm. Something's a little wrong with my coffee. What could possibly be wrong? Maybe it's because I did a dumb. Oh well. <sighs> Loading a little bit faster would be grand. How the hell am I supposed to get over to that? Is it really just a precise jump that I need to make? Probably just a precise jump that I need to make. Yeah, it'd be great being able to go back to the previous level by just floating up here and being all like, yep, up there I go. Nah. And in this case, it's just a hard level to go. Oh well. It's not like I need the extra health. But it's certainly have been nice. Oh. Oh, come on. What? Aha! Not today, beasties. Well, still not today. Not today, not today, not today. Ow. How the... I 100% first tried that, uh... Yeah, whatever. Oh, I think I get why I first tried it, though. Alright. Again, would love it if the game would actually just automatically equip me with the weapon. Maybe I shouldn't do that with Sigurd's axe. Whoa. Um, kind of stuck. Oh, all right. You seriously lead me all the way? How far back are you taking me, game? Oh, that's ass. That is... Mm, There's a bit of ye old great ass. Did it. Also did it. Oh. 
Okay. Now... I... Yeah. It's working as intended, I'm sure. Um... Alright. Dead people. Hello, Wendell. I feel like that was a bad sign. Like something bigger and worse than that window is coming. But that's just my impression. Oh, there is a hole there, though. Do not tell me I was just supposed to go that way. No, that's the way I came from. Where the deuce do I go then? I was just supposed to slay the wiggle, right? Puzzle games got me always wondering whether or not I did something wrong. Or puzzles included in games always make me think I did something wrong. Did I just jump down? Oh. Whoa. Hate that. Always hate that. yourself to faith. Is that this ver game's version of Only the Penitent Man Shall Pass? So yes. Oh, man. You gotta think, too. We did all that work to get out of hell. Literal hell. And now we're trying to go as far down as possible. Back, pretty much back to hell. Because we gotta follow Loki and all that fun stuff. And we couldn't have just said, hey, you know what? Let's go take that elevator. That'd be smart. Oh, God. Oh, that's a face. Oh, God. I love the PlayStation 2 era, man. These weights. I finally got a helmet. Rune. Uh, hi. Mm, you guys are a little bit tougher than the sword can handle. Also, I do love the implication that Upon finding this little place here, 
dude really did just kind of hunker down for the night. Man, I really wish that there was more of this kind of music throughout the entirety of it. Knock, knock. Okay, what is a switch? Yep. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Work hammer. <laughs> it's the big hammer. Oh, okay, we gotta jump down here. I guess I could have waited for the elevator. Hmm. Open. No open? Oh, there we go. Yes, but no. This is the button we push. Switch that we hit, regardless. There we go. Alright. Welcome to the Dwarf Lands, I suppose. Dude jumped in surprise right into my axe. I love it. I, mean, I suppose of all the areas in the game, the industrial metal sounding music would be most appropriate for the dwarves. I can only the diggy diggy hole. Okay, so aim in, chop the dude in half. Ah, struisable wall. Wait, is that a thing? <laughs> Hello, sir. No, I believe I asked priorly, priorly, last episode. Why would there, why would the doors be working with Loki? The trickster god, once all the, you know, all the gods dead, destroy the world, all that fun stuff. Well, at least in this game's canon of Loki. Still would like to know. I'm not, I've not even been to that little area yet. End of the level. I was getting into the music. Dwarves, man. Riverworks. Uh, these definitely seem less like the diggy diggy hole sort of dwarves, though, and more of the um evil industrial sort. The ones that the higher ups would extort the letter the um lower ranking ones for money. 
but the lower ranking ones wouldn't care that much because they like crafting shit. Yeah, about that. So you want to try that again? Maybe with more men? Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. Oh, says. Huh. Did I only have that few seconds to get through that door? Nope. Hmm. Right, the windmill. I know... Before, I had gone and... Like slowed down the windmill, so I could use its blades as a um, no method of getting up more. Wonder if they kept that the same. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to close the things to make it slow down. Bum, 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 bum. I'm pretty sure that first one would have done the trick, but maybe not completely stopped it, but reduced it in speed significantly. Wow. Ah, excuse me. Uh, now the assy part is that if I remember correctly, which I very much do, because if I remember anything about this game, it's the things that killed me. Is that uh, if I touch the blade of this, it kills me. Uh, okay. So it was a combination of, I gotta be careful, and, um, gotta just not touch the blade, like, at all. I'd rather be too early than too late, is what I'm trying to say. Too early just means I whiff it entirely. Hey, first try. First try, indeed. Bum, 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 bum. Viking sabotage. Ah, <laughs> they really did pick some of the best goddamn pictures for these uh, loading screens. Oh, geez, I didn't even realize how many. Uh... Yeah, we'll go one more. I'm having myself a good time. Having a good time. Oh, you no go down. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Almost certain that killed me before, too. Doink. All oh, right, this thing was held together with uh, duct tape and dreams. I forgot about that. Whee! Glorious. 
Hello, sirs. I'm destroying your place. Well, that was quick of me. Also, I'm just realizing that cog shot through like three pillars, and that is hilarious. I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. That was a really short chapter, seriously. When we return, a uh, goblin's gowl. I know it's supposed to be pronounced jail, but no. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.